to life. This thing we're all involved with. It's truly a madcap monkey farm of chaos and coffee. Not a good day? It's a circus fire. And our survival is entirely dependent in, in the hands of the fucking clowns. And we're running around frantically trying to not step in elephant shit. And I feel like I'm performing without a goddamn net. And what? Like, like the rest of us know what the fuck's going on? No, not at all. None of you has the slightest clue. Oh, and you do. Me? Fuck no, I don't know shit. This is what I'm talking about. What? The, you're talking about shit that you don't know anything about? That's it. That's the data of it, man. Where it, it's like a giant jigsaw puzzle, but when you put all the pieces together, there's no picture. Man, you know, I just wish you would talk straight like a normal human being sometimes, you know? Did you, like, go to some training school to learn encryption? <laughs> See, this is how you avoid the issue. Uh, but, you know, really, I understand. I get it. You know, the concept of a, of a, of a, of an infinite, everlasting, timeless, random universe is too large for your tiny, primate brain to grasp. I, I get it. It's intimidating. I'm, I'm glad you understand. We want everything tidy and neat. We, we want simple answers to complexities. Well, right. And that's why the, the chaos theory would work if we could just organize it. Again, my point. We can't let go of the steering wheel even though it's not attached to anything. It's like those elevators that have the buttons that indicate up or down. Useless profits. They only offer the illusion of being an effective participant in the outcome. Did you ever think that uh, maybe, just maybe, you don't uh, get out enough? I mean, maybe you spend too much time doing that. God knows what. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's just making you contemplate your navel too much. Look. <laughs> If the entire universe is composed of atoms, everything, everywhere, is actually an amalgam of atoms, each with electrons smashing into other electrons or protons or whatever that crap is that's floating around. And the entirety of existence is really just a constant collision until all the fuel is used up and then everything either implodes or explodes and then reality is gone. And in the meantime, we're all running around under the illusion that there's order, worrying about the DMV and, and a weight loss and, and jury duty. You know, not everybody can handle caffeine and there's nothing to be ashamed of in that. And some people get all amped up on sugar. Did you eat candy or, or ice cream or, or, uh, or gluten? Do you have any food allergies? That's a Look, this thing we call reality is just a sham. It, it, no, it's worse than a sham. It's a joke wrapped up in a sham. It's a joke wrapped up in a sham floating on a miasma of non-existent rumors. Okay, okay, what's wrong? <laughs> Helen left me.